From modest and humble beginnings to secret missions to being one of America's best resources for new technology, these valleys in East Tennessee have a rich and diverse history. We want to honor those who came before us. We want to keep our place in history alive by revealing the secrets of our hidden past. cardiovascular imaging, radiation treatments, and PET scans, all life-saving medical procedures known as nuclear medicine, a type of modern-day medicine that uses radioisotopes or radionuclides as a way to diagnose and treat medical conditions. And these modern-day life-saving techniques had their beginnings right here in Building 9731 at Y-12. During the Manhattan Project, Y-12 had been producing a scarce isotope, uranium-235, for the war effort. To separate that isotope from natural uranium, they used these calutrons. But after the war ended in 1945, there was no longer a need for that kind of production here. Something new was afoot, though. In November of 1945, research physicist Dr. Chris Kine discovered isotopes of other elements in the vacuum chambers of the calutrons. So he decided to try separating isotopes other than uranium, and it worked. His first success was copper-63. The medical field had been interested in isotopes for years, and Kimes' discovery caught the attention of the medical community. And now, with calutrons and reactors like the graphite reactor at Y-12's sister site, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, there finally was a way to produce them. Y-12's calutrons were put to a peacetime mission in the Stable Isotope Program and provided isotopes for research in medicine, agriculture, industry, and biology. One of the first uses was tracing the uptake of fertilizer in plants. In 1946, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory shipped the first radioisotopes to the Bernard Free Skin and Cancer Hospital of St. Louis. It was the beginning of the peaceful use of atomic energy, the beginning of the use of isotopes in medicine, still being done today, a science that started separating isotopes to end the war, now saving lives. And it all started here at Y-12.